The metadata store has given us a, a way of exposing our research data and collections. Um, I guess previously they've, they've been hidden, they haven't been that well exposed to uh, the wider world. We have internal uh, systems which describe uh, the grants and projects that people are working on, but, but they're internal and they haven't been exposed to you know, outside. Of getting that message out there and getting collections, that's the hard part. We chose the Red Box Mint software uh, because it gives us workflows that we don't ha didn't have previously. So it gives us workflows for uh, dealing with data coming in from the, the official data sources at La Trobe and externally, and then uh, uh, massaging that data and putting it into the right format, uh, having a workflow to deal with the different stages of, of curation of that information and then pushing it through to our own uh, infrastructure. And it's, it's well designed to integrate with our current uh, vital Fedora uh, research online repository. So at the beginning we really relied quite heavily on what University of Newcastle has done and in particular their configuration files, their project object module file and associated files that they've got uh, in the Git repositories. We've based our builds upon that configuration. Duncan and Greg, both yeah. for technical competency but also really good communication skills. So Greg Pendlebury did fantastic documentation for Redbox. When we were looking at the Redbox Mint system, specifically the Mint system, it had a particular way of handling the creation of an identifier for a researcher. That identifier was specific to that software system, in fact specific to that implementation of it. We took the identifier that had been created in the research master system, which is our research ma uh, management system at La Trobe, and in order to make them hopefully unique in the world, we used our ISIL code. So our thinking is that with this, with the structure of the identifiers that we've got, even if the Redbox Mint system were to be superseded by some other system, uh, if our records were to, to be migrated into a completely different platform, we still have identifiers that will make sense. There's been a lot of talk about Metadata Store's projects being more about cultural change than about, about being software development. And I think that has been more true than we could ever have imagined. It's cultural change for people in a library who ha have to think about being the originators of material, the, the first people to essentially publish a data collection rather than dealing with material where publishers have already handled this material, have made lots of decisions about how it will be described. We are making a lot of those decisions for the very first time. So we are working with researchers who now have to think about their research data as something that can be published, as something that other people will actually be looking at, which is something that many of them have never considered before. We talk to people about research data and the default thinking is Yes, we can put it in your system, but of course it won't be publicly available, will it? And we've asked the question, why, why not? What's, what is the issue with making this material publicly available? It makes sense to us at this point that, that putting your work out there is a way of claiming and a way of asserting um, the work you've done. Whereas a lot of the, the default thinking we're coming across assumes that it's the opposite. Mm. That, that exposing your material makes you vulnerable, as we see it, is actually claiming the, the territory, claiming the work you've done, uh, and actually as having great potential advantages. So the Metadata Stores program uh, gave us some momentum because it, it brought attention to the project. So the funding, uh, getting the steering committee together, getting attention from the university, uh, was made a lot easier just by having this as a project at La Trobe and it has really exposed a whole lot of work that we need to do and you know, given us a momentum for that actual process of engaging with researchers and, and getting collections and exposing research at La Trobe.